Hey, we are in Pioneer Square at Greg Kucera Gallery, one of my favorite galleries in Seattle. There's a wonderful show here right now. It's called Lumberton, Washington, featuring the quilts of Joey Veltkamp. Come on. So there's lots to see. We're going to start with this one here, and it's called Gay Horse Hey. And a lot of humor in this piece. Uh, what I want to point out is the materials uh, that Joey is using. It's, it's a work clothes. Uh, there's dockers. You can see the little tag right there. Um, I believe this is the Carhartt uh, material, or car, maybe this is the Carhartt. And of course, we have Dickies uh, down here as well. So there's, um, uh, like I said, lots of meaning in this piece uh, for Joey. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. Also, by the way, you can notice these hanging little um, threads. Joey is known for doing that. Uh, a lot of quilters don't do that with their quilts, but he likes to do that, and it gives a whole beautiful texture. And you're going to see that on a lot of them. Okay, so this piece here is called Lunch at Ivers. It cr cracks me up because I know exactly what this is about. Those are seagulls. If you've ever been on the waterfront at Ivers uh, Fish and Ship Joint, um, and you're eat, sitting outside eating, um, you are going to be visited by a lot of seagulls looking for a little bite. And that's what these are all doing. So it's both really beautiful, but also kind of creepy and hilarious at the same time. Now this one here is called Blue Angels, and Joey has said he's not really into the Blue Angels, but he knows a lot of people that are. Obviously a lot of flags as well. There's quite a few flag uh, representations in the quilt in this show. Um, and part of the reason is that Joey and his um, husband Ben live in Bremerton, which is a military base, military place. And so flags have um, a lot of prominence and there's a lot of meaning in flags, of course, both positive and negative. Uh, but I think he really uses them, uses them really beautifully. Um, okay, on this side, and I've, I first have to point out this one here, it's called Life is Beautiful. That's the name of the quilt, We're All Gonna Die. Enough said, right? I think it's a beautiful piece, and it also, I have to say, makes me laugh. And then this piece here is, is quite lovely. Uh, Let's Rock is what it's called, and it's all these different owls. The um, owl way up there is made out of wood, <laughs> which uh, makes me laugh. Uh, of course, over here, the, the rainbow, gay pride. Also, I think Jerry, Joey has said that, um, you know, that also is a Christian symbol in a lot of ways, rainbows. So there's all sorts of really wonderful fabrics here. Again, look at this. There we got the old American flag. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. Uh, it's sold, of course, and it's called Thelma and Verns, and this TV Manette radio, this is an actual sign in Bremerton as you walk over the bridge into Manette, which is a little um, area of Bremerton, a little town, I guess, and I find this to just be charming because it's so old-fashioned, the fact that there's this old TV sign, and I just think the beautiful, um, the clouds, and it's just very, uh, it, it's just nostalgic, it's very homey, uh, a, a really, really good feeling. All right, now there are a few pieces that um, I want Joey to talk about because they're great stories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call him on FaceTime and he's going to uh, talk to us directly. So, hey, there he is, the artist, Joey Veltkamp. Hello. <laughs> it's so great to be able to see you virtually. Okay, this one, car alarms on ferry. A lot of humor here, so tell our audience about this piece. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, uh, this is uh, one of my favorite pieces from the show. If you ride the ferry often enough, you, you, you learn quickly all the kind of funny customs and rituals that only happen on the ferry. And one of the charming things that happens is invariably a car alarm is going to go off and the captain's going to come on, make an announcement saying, whosoever car this is, get down here, fix it, because it's going to keep going off. So I started a list of them, and I think I'm up to about 75. The captain will say, like, will the owner of the black BMW or the exactly. white Mercedes, right? Yes, and this is the first 10 in order that I experienced. It's great, and I love the blingy vibe of the material that you've chosen to make this quilt with. It's a little shiny, and it's a little yeah, like, absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of high end. Yes, exactly, yeah. elevated. And the final quilt we're going to end our little tour on, it's kind of the, it, it's really a highlight. It's called Little Versailles. 
It's literally our backyard, right? 2020, um, I, I mean, I, I can't complain about 2020. Folks have lost so much. I feel incredibly blessed. But um, this was the highlight of my year. Ben's sister moved in with us uh, for a little while. And one of the things she did during summer was get us one of these above ground pools. And um, I just spent, uh, you know, at the end of the workday, we'd all get to go out there, jump in the pool, have a beer, like maybe two people could fit at a time. But it was, oh, I mean, the, the best. It was the best days of, or best moments of my whole year. And you actually, yeah. and I, if I'm not mistaken, you float around on a unicorn floaty. I, I, exactly. That's the unicorn floaty I float right around there. on. Uh, yeah. Well, Joey, it's just, uh, it's such a great show. There's so much heart um, and humor and pathos as well. Uh, it's beautiful. So um, thanks for letting us tour around and bringing you in. And you, of course, can check out Lumberton now through April 17th at Greg Cusera Gallery. And more information is on their website.